anything. A witcher. Yeah, that's what I was going to yeah, say. But it would only be good to be a witcher if there were real monsters. Yeah, you hunt Avakin. <laughs> <laughs> and like, and um, that's what's great. the best? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Free Skins Podcast, the best podcast in the world. Obadeshi, Obadeshi. See, people say that white people can't rap. We can. We can. And we just did. We can, we're just not very good at it. Yeah, like Eminem, he's terrible. No, he's not. His new song's pretty good. It's terrible. Have you heard the Man. end of it? Yeah. I don't... I don't... I'm, I'm getting old. Yeah, yeah, stop. Stop, stop. No. Stop. Just stop. Should, Eminem, stop. stop. Should stop 20 years no, ago, don't stop. stop. Eminem, keep going for it. Actually, no. Show everyone you're the best be, in the no, business. To be fair, if That's I was him, awfully I would keep high, going. Because like, people I are not always not like, oh, you got to stop because you got to like keep it real. And is that fuck that man money? Yeah, but he can earn money not doing that. There's like, so what, many. What else can Eminem do? Look at Jay Z. He's a white guy. Jay Z releases one song every now and again, but he makes money. He's. I think he just became like. Well, kind of I think recently. he just sells shoes or something. He became like the first rapper to become a. He like, sells something. Now he's like, like headphones or something. Or something. Yeah, yeah, he imagine so being money. a rapper. Yeah, I'm a rapper. And then now I'm a shoemaker. Ah, oh, that's not that cool. Yo, yeah, I'm a he's shoemaker. making fucking stacks. <laughs> Who cares how much money it is? It's about the reputation. Yeah, he's got a better reputation now, right now than fucking does, Eminem has. Why do you Jay-Z's care about got... reputation, Mister? Yeah, Which shit your pants in the nappy on YouTube. the one that bonks the the Beyonce. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And he cheated on her, and she released like a whole album, he's, like yeah, about how snaky he he's is. He's an ugly man. Now they're still together. It's not a good look. Jay Z, if you're listening, man, you. No, he's not. How, I don't know how he got Beyonce. Maybe the money. Because he's fucking. He has a, a incredible reputation as a musician. Maybe and he's rich as fuck. His music's terrible. Though. Maybe what? he's just a nice Jay-Z's person. Got terrible music. Right, we um, we said no more waffle, even though Greg started playing Witcher Free again. Look. Yeah, Ooh, it's got what it was it? So guff much, or fluff? Guff, it has so fluff, much waffle. Guff, fluff, I waffle. What was happening? Oh yeah, I was, I was walking down by this river. Yeah, like just collecting some herbs because I was like, oh man, I need to get myself some cool potions and stuff. So anyway, I'm going there get my herbs, and this old woman's like, I need help, I need help. I'm like, oh shit, what's wrong, lady? And she's like, I can't get into my house, and there's my favorite pans in there. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> what, what, on Witcher? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you, never, have you not done that mission? Your Witcher. Have you not done that mission? Oh, that mission plenty. is right near the start. It's like yeah, one of the yeah, first yeah, five missions that you do. Missions Did you do. you do it, though? Yeah. Right, yeah, but you, there's a benefit to it, isn't it? You break in the house, you find out that it's not just a... Spoiler alert. You find out that it's not just a fucking old lady that's lost a frying pan. There's a dead person in there and there's a story behind it somehow. Yeah, but it's and a it... boring story. It's just like... No, but you get he, something he out di- of he it. He dies she again. She gives you something. Like... Yeah, I, got like, I got like 10 coins. Yeah, oh, okay. Ten, a that's coin enough of to one... Your and you, that's you, one great card. And you can use conversation things that go up in your perks and stuff. So I don't like doing that. I don't like... I don't like forcing people to think stop, so. If you hate her. this game, stop playing it's it. Like, it's like I used to play the Night of Republic games. Like... And they have the force persuade options, but why do you want to force people to say, man, you you got to persuade them naturally. You don't want to use your magic or anything. You know what I mean? Then why not just play a game where you don't have any powers if you're not going to use Ah, them? Because I use all of my points on my fighting ability. My guy can slay motherfuckers like that. You know what I mean? I got like, I got something like 65% critical hit on my uh, fast attack already. Awesome, Greg. I just thought of a funny joke. Why wasn't Kevin Spacey (laughs) in Star Wars? Because he's too good at the force. Oh, oh <laughs> fuck. Do you want to tell people what we were just talking about in the car? Yeah, right? that's why I brought him up. That's on, do it. So, Greg, I think you already know about this, but... I was unaware. Lewis was unaware. You know, So it's kind of news. Welcome the to the moment. news. Yeah. So he, he raped people. What are you? Kevin Spacey okay. has been killing people. Yeah, there is that theory, but I don't know if that's true. I don't... Yeah, he told me about it, and it was. One I mean, of those he might be. Like... Apparently, four of his accusers are dead. Oh. Yeah, but that happens. All Can the time, someone right? let? Us, if anyone <laughs> yeah. is, only if he's accused 
by a thousand people. The millions of people died there. But I thought, I thought the, the last thing I remember hearing about Kevin Spacey was that he just like disappeared and no one knew, knew where he was, and it was just like, oh, okay. He's released but, two YouTube videos. Yeah. The they YouTube must be able to. Creepy as well. <laughs> if this guy <laughs> has done some of these things and he's even sort of like they're slightly suspicious of it, they must be able to figure out like where that YouTube video. Why is no one looking for him? Like he's he's going through court at the moment. I think. Yeah, he's already, Greg, he's can you tell system. Lewis what the videos are like? So he, he basically it's like he's just doing his everyday stuff in his kitchen, like you know, like chopping vegetables open, and then he's and the camera just zooms and tours him, and he's just it's got really well cinematography. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's really everything. well done. He's hired people for this, shit. yeah, and he and he just stares right into the camera, and he's and he's it's like cryptic messages of like you know who you are, and you know what will happen if um if you keep talking the way you would do and stuff like that. It's it's it is like full on. And then what was his second one like? I can't remember. It's the one where he's like, yeah, there's going to be repercussions. Or oh, whatever. yeah. It's just fucked up, man. And the night that that was released, someone who accused him died oh, like, the next day. Like, like, mm. Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey, you're a, a naughty man. You're, you're a, a very killer. good... Great actor, man. Fucking incredible. He, you you said something like funny. Boy. He's on four out of seven. Oh yeah, he's he's doing a seven, isn't he? He's doing a seven. He? Yeah. Oh, he's, he's, yeah, he's on four. He's got come on police if you're watching, if there's any policemen that are a fan of our podcast. Um or, you know, members of the yeah, FBI. He's on rough. He was always um, great at paying villains. Yeah. So maybe That's was, what I'm saying. He, he is doing a seven right now. He's like filming himself. He's like, Don't don't mess with me. And yeah. then, like, people are dying, and then it's like the Lewis, like, like, Lewis is just like, yeah, he's like chipping off his finger, <laughs> fingerprints again. Yeah. Did you say something that was like in a video that he was by a fire or something? Yeah, he's like poking a fire. Yeah, once that, he like used the fire, he got a stick and he like stubbed his fucking <laughs> fingerprints out. Like, don't would fuck, that work? Can you don't burn, fuck with me? I'm sure you can burn your own fingerprints off. Yeah. I mean, yeah, well, you if can. you can like, mm-hmm. if you can cut them off, I think they grow back though. I they? heard your teeth pop like popcorn when you're burnt alive. Yeah, that makes sense. If you've ever burnt bones, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have do you, have you? Yeah. Well, have you never eaten a, a chicken and then chucking it in the fire? No. Well, then you're not living, man. That's that, it, It's a great way of disposing of... It okay, doesn't make sense, think about because it, it happens with bamboo sticks, too. Yeah, it does. It does with bamboo sticks. Mm. Bamboo sticks are kind of like bone. I remember when I was a, a kid and, and we'd had a fire like around a mate's house. When we were like, I don't know, 13, 14. We were all dicking around. And someone had a bottle of wine. And they put it on the fire... And I remember just like sitting by the fire, dicking around, and I put the cork in the top of it, and I was just like, and left it on the fire, and the fire was going out. And I remember we were sort of there the next morning, and I remember just hearing this gigantic booming sound. Like we were all like, "What the fuck?" And this cork on the like where it just slowly heated up like over hours. The cork shot out like went clear through the fence like a little bullet hole. I have no idea it went fucking. That's a good idea like, for a video. Yeah, that's what I remember. Like I've always had that in the back of my head. Like oh, I need to, we need to recreate just, that. Just get some corks and some, right. some like blow torches. Honestly, I think it would have fucking killed someone or knocked them out. It went clear through Great a fucking experiment. like garden fence. No, I mean, the only issue is. Like, where, where can we do that without yeah. like the risk? And of if the if you got to get it right, because if the glass breaks, yeah. no, no, like... no, we could do it at, um, where we filmed you as uh, Kate Bush. Oh, it's me, uh, Kathy. Uh, come home now. I guess we could. <clears throat> oh, we have an idea because we want to do more of that kind of stuff, don't we? This year, yeah, I'd like to do some more skits. We stuff. want you to do. I want to break free by Freddie Mercury because. <clears throat> It means we all get to dress as women. <laughs> it means we all get to dress I as women. Want, I and want, I want to do that bit at the end. I don't know if you've seen the music video where he's like, yeah. being like... Yeah, I've seen the music video. <laughs> <laughs> of I just think it would be great. Would you do it? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Yeah. We've got to find great, someone that I can do. But we need to incorporate a three Ed skins Sheeran. thing into it. Yeah, we would. I think you'd be a good Elton John. If we get you sat <laughs> oh, with the little star glasses on, like, blue jean, baby, like that. Yeah, That'd be you, good. Would, you would be a great Elton John. Elton John is a but fucking like, but great But like, like older Elton John. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be a good Elton John or... Uh, we could do like a mummy trailer. I don't know, you kind of look like the guy from that Imagine Dragons, but just 
Radioactive. Fat. Yeah, like if he got really fat, <laughs> you look. Maybe if they do a movie trailer with you, they would do the, the Mummy Six. Yeah. You know? Yes. Loads of ideas. Loads of yeah. ideas. Uh, I didn't say this at the start, but 100 likes every podcast. Yeah, and we have donation thing right down there, mm-hmm. uh, and we've got little bar. So because if you think you we are. make money off of YouTube, you're dead wrong. Dead, dead wrong. Actually, you, no, um, but that's not wrong. We made like a pound in a year. Oh, okay. like well, we've made off, a pound. off our revenue. They haven't paid it to us yet because it's not. It's like too below the threshold. Yeah. The we're threshold. Not, is... We're not eligible to actually have that pound yet. But one day, with your help, we will earn that pound. And it's then... a good pound to have. Yeah. I don't know. We have to spend. We're going to spend your. 33, Let 33, us know in the comments on. what we should spend that first pound on, and we'll make. A, we'll make a video yeah. where we go out. Is a Fredo, these when days. we get our first three kids <laughs> YouTube paycheck. <and> like, <laughs> Four years. <laughs> we'll we'll make a video where we get that yeah. pound out. Literally, like will... all the money that's come in from it, which has been none. <laughs> but I've been like, <laughs> I've been like looking at it and like, right, okay, like, because it's gonna have to come back to me because I've been paying for the podcast. Mm. Yeah, for oh, the, yeah, for the got, actual yeah, um, for audio. Yeah, yeah, you've got to pay for the audio yeah. thing. It's. Sort of pain. So for, from YouTube wise, we're not actually going to make anything at all through YouTube, but it's all right because we've got Spotify and we've got Apple Music because we're a podcast thing at the end of the day. Oh, but so if you are great. sitting watching and you do enjoy the bullshit that we talk about and you do feel kind enough to donate us whatever you want, and you can write us little messages which we will read out. Uh, yeah, link is down there. Please go and do that if you <laughs> want to. That's and I'll show you out on my main channel as well. Oh, what? There you go. That's a, that's that's a fucking good, mega it? bonus. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Anyway, enough of the plug-in because yeah. that, that, that part is Put basically... Put plugs out, boys. Put your plugs out. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Matrix. Plugs out. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, because we don't have sponsors. So that's our little ad. Mm-hmm. Or, or if you own a company and you want to sponsor us, that would also be great. Yes, I, I don't think anyone would do that. I like I, that would be nice. I don't think if you've got a little clothing yeah. line, a little independent clothing line, and you're making t-shirts and you want us three dickheads to wear them, yeah, message and us you, on Instagram. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't just go out and like make t-shirts and send them us to wear. Like, don't don't do that. Well, you can do that. Well, actually, you free, could do that if they're funny. I'll wear them. I want one. Yeah, do yeah, that if I you want. want. A yeah, but I know <laughs> I've heard about like this woman who makes jumpers out of yarn that's been up her pussy. I want my little pussy jumper. Yeah, that, why would that be an issue? I can think of one particular like, boy's hoodie smelling like moist person pussy. who listens to oh. us that would do that. Well, we get custom, <laughs> we're going to wear custom made oh, socks. No. Oh, socks! A big pair of socks. Love you, really. Uh, <laughs> okay, so. We have some funny news stories for you this month. Oh, boy. Month. I we? said month because we, that's a little we released now. This week. This week. Um, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so who wants to go first? I'll go first. Greg goes Greg, first. Greg, go on. This is going to be very scientific. Okay. And so well. in America, they uh, they have this thing called the military. I think I've heard of them. And you've got the army, the navy, <laughs> the air force, the marines... And now you've got the Space Force. But they've come under fire. What? It's a meteorite. What, aliens? What are you talking about? <laughs> they've come under fire because the Space Force... Which is barely You're going to have to start being... with telling me what the Space Force okay, is. Okay, so what, basically what you've got the four branches of yeah. the military, but now you've got the Space Force. Since when was this? A, space this, Force. A few, literally a few years ago yeah. they created it. They came in. And it, it, they've only got From like a few space. people. But this is like the first thing that they've done. Yeah, so they ha- they don't really do anything yet. They kind of no just like, shit. There's not really much in space. I mean, I guess are they are they getting prepared for an attack or something from aliens? I don't know what they really do. I can't tell you. What are, they, are they actually I think called it's Space Force? Yeah. It's called the Space Force. Space Force. It, and guess... Did guess, Donald Trump have yes, come up with this yes, idea? It is his <laughs> idea. It, it is. I want to make a Space Force. I, I, make think, a space uh, force I think Obama came up with it first. but then... He might have. Obama. Obama came up with Space Force. Yeah, but yeah, well, when, you need when to he be, does it... You need to be the first bit of military in space. Yeah. You, yeah, you do. Why? Well, eventually we're going to have wars in space, aren't we? So you might as well get ahead of the curve. 
Well, now Where? there's a space force. There's, there's going like to be wars in space. In like years, we're going to have spaceships and we're shooting lasers at each other. Come on, have you not watched Star Wars, <laughs> Star Trek, all of these fucking things? In a hundred years, no well, you, way. Yeah, you might as well get no, ahead of yourself. Way. This is Elon Musk shit. This is, this is just... They, he wanted to be the first one to have a space thing. Didn't he say like five America years? America have got no we'll fucking be on Mars in five years. There we go. America have got no history, have they? So I suppose if they open it now and then in like three hundred or so years or whatever, when we are having space fights, America can finally be like, Yes, well we've had ours since twenty eighteen. See? That's why that's I think that's why they're doing it. Yeah, it's yeah. genius. Carry on. Anyway, Best job so, ever. What are you fucking doing? Yeah, do, but the thing is, is that they've recently released <laughs> their official military uniform for the Space Force. What do you think it is? Buzz Lightyear, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but that's fucking, the thing. That's what you would think. Something ridiculous. It is, it is just a normal normal <laughs> woodland camouflage outfit. <laughs> And and they've come under fire because Why? everyone's like... Why not make it look like yeah, space? Space is black. There's no woods in space. I think... Wait, what are you uh, trying to Mr. hide from? Mr. Trump or Mr. Obama or whoever commissioned this, or I'm assuming uh, Trump's stepped in now and is getting the job done with it. Um, yeah, I, I think the aliens are going to see that coming. They're going to see you. <laughs> if you're dressed all like green and black and shit, the color of the planet that they want to attack, you're like dressed maybe, like maybe it, like... maybe aliens see space uh, like wood. So like to us it looks black, but to them it looks like wood. So they see wood, and then there's this guy with his wood camouflage on, with his combat knife or whatever they do. And do you he, know what? He's flying through space to get him. I don't think aliens are the ones that run that run UFOs. Okay. Okay. I've seen so much UFO stuff recently. Mm. Oh, don't start! Don't start with I, all this it's fucking not, pony. No, 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 no. UFO unidentified flying object. Honey, yeah. get the shot. There is a lot of un- unidentified flying objects. Yeah, man. Yes. Always I mean, over we know, Texas. We don't know what they are, but man, I'm just fucking watching it. I'm just watching it. Yeah, some weird shit out there, man. Who knows what it is? Yeah, I think you're just yanking my balls here. Hey, you never know what it is, man. It could yeah. be. <laughs> Could be... We're three of the biggest skeptics on earth. We it don't believe in could, anything. Could and you're be aliens. To... Could be the cows. Could cows. Be, could be some cows. Sort of, yeah, we could wait, be wait, some sort up. of. What well, could be some sort of earth species that lives in the trenches? Of are you of saying the cows sea, are they, aliens they, 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 that are flying? Well, you around. never know. How do you know? Have you got any evidence that otherwise? <laughs> Prove me wrong. Yeah. Yeah, you dummy. <laughs> Where's, right. Where do they keep their spaceships? In, in the, the barn? Well, why not? There's loads of empty barns. Maybe they, the turn, farmers maybe they shapeshift into fucking spaceships. The farmers would have to know about it then if, if there's always a, a cow spaceship Here's another in the barn. thing. How come... So farmers have access to spaceships? Well, no, 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 no. You just hide a UFO yeah. as a cow. Is what they in do. The field. Is what they do. They take a take a thing from the U.S. Space Force, cover it in camo. Yeah, woodland camo. No, and they, the this time they cover it. it no, this time they cover it in space camo. No. So it's that they're all. They looks like space, so it stands you out. You cover it in barn camo because then the, the farmer walks into the barn. He can't see the fucking barn thing. It camo. Look, it looks like a barn. He doesn't know what he's looking at. <laughs> What's barn camo? I don't know, it's like, like a little bit like, of wood with like a hole wood. in it and yeah, just some red wood. horse shit and <laughs> and a mouse. <laughs> Yeah, so camo. Genius, Greg. Here's here's one I found. Man suffers a three day erection after taking sexual stimulant used to breed bulls. Sexual stimulant used to breed bulls. Yeah. He was so. How long did he have the boner for? Three days. How did that not? I thought. I've had one for like three hours before, and it killed. No. Yeah, I thought it was something like. I thought it was like 11 hours you can have like an erection for before you will like die. <laughs> the, I don't know. I don't know been, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. I'm thinking about there's thing. a snake that bites you and it gives you an 11, uh, yeah. like a 10 or 11 uh, hour erection ugh. and then you die. No, sorry. Back up. Got I kind of want to try this. You want to try the ball stimulant? You think like, you got all that blood in your dick. Surely it bruised it. Yeah, what did it do to him? It must have fucked him up some sort of way. Well, yeah, it gave him a three day erection. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, yeah, is that like that landing bad. in the fucking he hospital? Need... Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like to go to hospital, he had to, no, he had to have a, an operation. Oh, what to like get the blood out so it, it would go have, down? Yeah. Oh, have, that's horrendous! Don't take that. We're never ever gonna take that. Why Where not? Can you get it. Look, look he <laughs> looks well happy. 
Oh no! You gotta get that picture up. Yeah, I will. Oh, I think he looks. Him. That's the most miserable thing <sighs> I've ever seen. I hate even the thought of spending the night in a hospital. But sat there with me cock and balls like airing, just like sat in the hospital bed. Oh no! Yeah, but that's the first thing you want, wouldn't it? Like well, a what? Air, you want someone air, to slice like your cock up? Well, they're not going to slice it up, are they? Well, they must. He said they had an operation on it. Your cock is a no, delicate have, thing. They must it must have, have like, drained then, it. Then you got a scar on it. It looks cool. <laughs> yeah, little Keo scar. Yeah, you gotta have a scar. Oh, right, man, right at the we, base we, and we the bottom. I love the scars, man. You walk around, <laughs> mate. You walk around. You see this ugly guy. Yeah, and you're like, oh, that's an ugly motherfucker. You cut his face, wait for the scar to heal, and then the woman like, oh, he's got a scar, man. Maybe he's ugly for a reason. Greg, have you been going around giving ugly people slashings? I mean, he just finds could... Henry Cavill hot. Are in, you the uh, Pompey Ripper? In, in which, yeah, man, yeah. how can you not? Henry Cavill, he's a fucking. I'll tell you what. I watched the first episode, right? I finally watched the first episode. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Loved it, right? It mm. Really immersed me. Stabs that guy in the head is great. Oh, there was oh. one thing that niggled at me the whole time, though, and I really tried because I know I'm fucking. I'm one of those people. I'm so hard to fucking please, and I always nitpick yes. everything. And I wish yeah. I wasn't like that, but I am. And as soon as I noticed it, I couldn't unnotice it. He keeps swapping between sounding exactly like Geralt and then going Cockney. Same thing. If it? you sit and watch, no, no, it's not because Geralt's kind. Of, Geralt's American. If you see, he is. But then he'll start going. I don't think so. And you're like, what the f- fucking what? He sounds like he's from EastEnders for a second. And as soon as I noticed it a little bit, I couldn't. Every single Lewis, different scene. Lewis. It might blow really your mind to know me. that it was written as Polish. So he should be like... <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. No. You ever, you <laughs> ever met, <you laughs> met a Pole? No. Yeah, yes. You know what they yes. sound like? Yes. Well, that's what he sounds like. I know, No, but he doesn't sound like that. He, if you listen, he sa- in some scenes you go, oh my God, he sounds exactly like Geralt from the video games. And then yeah, but in he's the not next scene, he's not meant to he sound sounds like, like Phil Mitchell. He's not meant to sound like Geralt from the video games. Well, it's not based on the video games, is yeah, it? Yeah, well... It kind of is. It isn't, though. Well, it kind of is. But it isn't, though. It's the same story. No, Geralt of Rivia, the they're Butcher of Blaviken. Fight! They're actually, <laughs> actually completely different stories, because which one, two, right, and three okay, are set stories, like ten years after. Okay, but it's the same world with the same characters. They're set about ten years I'm just saying, him sounding... He era. looks exactly like the fucking video game character. So I'm saying him sounding like it is a good thing, because like, people that watch Blaviken the game... Bit, the Butcher of Blaviken It's bit, funny it's how like much he gave a shit for liking The Witcher, now he's all like... Ooh, now I can't even get a word in. It's <laughs> like, set like 30 years before like, I the video didn't game. want to turn this into I would rather I have a free day erection than listen to yeah. this. <laughs> I didn't want to turn it into the bashing of the show. I really fucking enjoyed it and I thought it was really good. And the fight scenes, like you said, my fucking God, are incredible. So amazing. So good. When he yeah. butchers all them people in that alley, I was just... Oh, man. Fucking it was, George. It was amazing. Butcher Blavicum, man. Yeah. Oh, Butcher so good. He's annoying, isn't he? Yeah, he's a dick. You're lucky that you You like only... all that guff. Why don't you tell you why? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're lucky you only get to speak to him for one hour a week. I know. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, man. I, 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 I love him. Shut up, Greg. I, I, I fucking got that fluff and I stuffed it in my face, mate. I know all about it now. Yeah? I've got all good. Marshmallow good. fluff. I know all about good. the fluff. Good. So we're going to sit here and listen to about it. All right. Um, no, no, no more fluff. No, no more fluff. Um, no more Witcher fluff. We've done enough. Shall I get my news story up? We are talking about the news after all. I was just thinking about the free direction. Like, yeah. like, the first thing I would have thought of is to jack off. Yeah, straight away. To get rid of it. Yeah, but once you've done that about two or three times and you sit there like, when is this thing going to just go away? It can't need much more out of me. My nuts hurt. I'd it's love already... to think of all the things he tried. Like, tied a weight to it. I, I Like, stood by the freezer, like, just like, <laughs> oh. off, just like I'm, what, I'm more interested in why he took it in the first place. Walking around he looking at... please our lady. <laughs> Walking around looking at family photos, like, <laughs> just just go away. Look at Viagra. Surely that works. <laughs> what? Wait. What's that? Now, how's that going to work? Do you think it's going to have some sort of counter effect? No, I mean, I mean, as in, he took this this ridiculous steroid. <laughs> for balls. To, yeah, why for did balls. he take, he must yeah. have known what he was in for. You could just take a Viagra, it's like... What, Is there any backstory to it? Did it say why he took it? Or, or... Yeah, because he wanted to have sex with someone. I hope the guy, I don't know if he's listening, but I hope the guy who had the three day erection is okay, bro. I hope he learns your lesson. We hope you're resting up and you're alright. Jesus Christ. And I hope whatever, Hold in there. whatever lady friend you have right now, I hope she doesn't use her teeth much. Um, that might have helped get rid of it. 
Yeah, a good old chomp. A Galapagos giant tortoise has so much sex, he retires after saving his species. This happened on the 12th. Okay, and it Did was he have a, a three-day-long erection? I don't know. Hang on, because I haven't actually read it yet either. I just saw the headline <laughs> and I was like, this is great. Uh, he estimated to be about 130 years old and is returning home now to wherever it is he was from. Well, a Galapagos giant tortoise. So I don't know if he's going back to the Galapagos Islands or whatever. I'm not. I thought really that's sure. where they only came from, isn't it? But I mean, he's obviously in some sort of like uh, sanctuary because they've he's made a mate with like. But they reckon he's 130. Diego, part of the Chelonoidis hood and census species. Great. You, are you familiar with it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that lives on the Galapagos Island of Espanola. Espanola was one of the tortoises that was brought to the US between 1928 and he was uh, uh, it was, it's been endangered since the 60s this breed of Gal- uh, Galapagos tortoises really? yes it's not because they really they taste really good uh, probably some shit like I'm that I'm not I sure don't know. That, yeah well, there was a big I remember thing. watching some documentary about them because they aren't they the ones that hatch out of the beach and they make it for the beach, and then they. Right, oh no, because no, it's a tortoise. They're, they're turtles. Animals, yeah. You know, it's a tortoise. Yeah, they're different animals. Yeah. No, I don't know why they would be going extinct. It's got to Do be. Do you know the difference cause... between an elephant and a giraffe? Yeah, one's got a bit of a longer neck. Giraffe are just long-necked horses, anyway. Did I watch a video the other day about how elephants are OP animals? They are. Yeah. They are. They're... Have you seen those videos yeah. online of like, because like. They were in countries where they use them for entertainment in not very nice ways. That they they're always there's always like these like horrific accidents and they like end up like stampeding like ten people mm, and great. they just crush them with like a one man step. With a fucking yeah. There's a bloke stood there like that and it's like gut. Pff, can't, it's like can't, sort of a can't film. Like, a loss of people to treat elephants like that. Fucking hell. Yeah, they're great. Anyway, great um, the. The tortoise's name was Diego. He helped save his species by procreating 800 turtles on uh, January 9th in Ecuador. In in that one day. He was 130 years old. He had 800 turtles and now he's been sent home because he's his, such a his, fucking player. Yeah, they retired him. The issue, There's though. Diego there. No, but I don't get oh, yeah, I don't man. get. I don't get this. Is that they've literally forced this guy... Save that, they've yeah. forced this guy into retirement. That's not a great way to treat a honest worker like him. <laughs> uh, they're closing the breeding program, which will include, include the return of the adults. There were 12 females and two males originally, so I'm supposing one of them died and Diego was the last male or something. I'm, I don't really know. But they were originally found on the islands... And they'll be released to their natural habitat. So they're releasing Diego, and then I assume they're releasing his bitches. And oh, all of his yeah. kids are out there as well. So Bads and bitches. Diego, yeah, good luck Good luck with your 12 they females. They shouldn't really release his children near him. The species is still listed as critically endangered on the International Union uh, Conservation of Nature's Red List. But I'm sure Diego and his 800 offspring and his 12 bitches are going to... Gonna get out there and do us proud. Hell yeah! yeah. 130 years old. Kids. That tortoise is well is. known for fucking their kids. <laughs> I read this. You're, shit, you're a tortoise. No, like, <laughs> tortoises. <laughs> tortoises do. They, 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 they don't. They're not like humans. That human can sit there yeah. and be like, "Oh, I know that you're my child." Yeah. It's it's tortoise. Like some... Tortoises don't think. They think like. <laughs> Why didn't we? Because uh, they're slow, yeah. <laughs> oh, I get it. Why didn't yeah, we call they... Joe? Why didn't we call Joseph Fritzl the the tortoise killer or something like? Why? Because if, if tortoises have like sex with their children. Oh God! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> sorry, just... Don't one. tell me you didn't get. A... No, I get it. You I, just yeah, want me to explain it out loud. No, I, <laughs> no, I, I didn't get it. You need to explain it out loud. I didn't want to have to say that out loud. You need to explain it out loud. I didn't get it. ISIS leader dubbed Jabba the Jihadi <laughs> captured in Watch Iraq. Watch you do solo. Now look at this motherfucking He's huge. honker. Why do they call him Jabba? Fuck off. Boy. Yeah, he's from the desert as well. Just like Jabba. In Iraq. So where, where, where the fuck? He looks. Like How a, did he get that big? He looks like an Iraqi Lester from GTA he's so, Five. He's so big that uh, yeah, they had to use a truck to get into prison. 
to sh- they basically had to ship him to prison. <laughs> they, they they couldn't just Fuck. put him in a minivan. <laughs> he was in one of them ship craters, like oh, dude. ship containers. This is on the New York Post. Okay, it says he put Ooh, the very prestigious. Very he very put the fat in fatwa. That's the very first line. The fat and fat one. That's great. My God. 560 pound. Um, Abu Abdul Bari. 560 pounds. That's, that's twice the weight of me and that's more. A, that's a heavy boy. The Jumbo Jihadist. He was uh, one of the leaders in ISIS. Did he call himself Jabba? Or is Jabba his actual name? Or has he been no, deemed... he's been... Everyone's been, like, roasting him. Like, people have nicknamed... Oh, okay, right. I was going to say, he's not, like, a Star Wars fan, is he? He's just sat there <laughs> in his house, just, like, watching Star Wars. No. He thinks he's a big pimp, like Jabba the Hutt. Apparently, gluttony is frowned upon by jihadists. Oh, okay. What is? Ooh, wait, mm. Gluttony. I don't know if we should be crossing this territory. Yeah, well, well about, the thing is, is about that the, like the yeah. fundamentals of today I mean, was a Iraq good day maybe. for the force and a bad day for evil. Is that what it says? Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, think... so what happened? <laughs> All right. <laughs> um. Yeah, basically, this humongous ISIS geezer just. Uh, got arrested and he's really really fat and loads of people making little jokes only about a him. master of evil Darth so... do you know what's funny right <laughs> I bet a lot of the people making jokes about him yeah are people who are like don't fat shame well, yeah I'll tell you one thing <laughs> it's different when they're from when they're, yeah. when they're naughty I mean isn't people it? say that like Islam looks down on gluttony but like <clears throat> No, but you think about it. Let's think about it for a second. Right, you got another question, uh, thing. Have you got that? Yeah, you got another news article, Greggy boy? What's um, your gut for us, boy? Obese ISIS preacher. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, I can bring it back. No, <laughs> bring it all back now. Um, so, recently, there's been a sharp increase in these things called crimes. <laughs> <laughs> but, what involving... <laughs> I love how he always oh, introduces boy, all of his Yeah, stories. with pointy tip knives. So <laughs> knife crime. Yeah, knife so there's, crime. there's knife companies like, oh, okay, this kind of sucks <laughs> dick. We're getting bad press. Knife companies. Knife companies. Square tip blades. Yeah. Have you seen them? Can't stab with them. But you can still slice. You can slice. So what's going to happen now? Great, Instead of we're people just making it stabbed, we're brutal. People are going to get sliced. Yeah, but that's more... People op- are going to get their throats cut from behind. Yeah, but that's more opportunity for badass scars. A stab's not going to look like a cool scar. And how? Hang on. Surely, if they're sharp enough, square-ended. Sh- no, just, they're, they're just show blunt. Lewis a picture of them. Does it actually like have a, a square on the end of it? Because I'm just I'll imagining like you know when you've got a really blunt picture. knife at the top and it's just like because I'm thinking you can still stab somebody with that. Um, no, if you can look you not at stab... it, it's, it's kind of like a. We'll get a picture a up on here as well. Fucking dumbass, stupid. Yeah, they look like that. Oh, okay. So you right. can't stab people with them. So you, you can't. You can't. Can you can't point. use the pointy end. Get them with the. Get them with the pointy end. But you. Um, but you can slice. You can slice. Yeah. Great. Now we. Oh. You can slice, but you can't. You're stab. never gonna stop. No, but it looks. It looks hard coming. to slice with. It's good because you gotta get through. like a decent angle. Okay, but not. Everyone's gonna start getting them in their houses. At least not right at this. It's point, too late, in it. Yeah. <laughs> Every did house I, in the did world I tell has you a the knife. Story about when my nan found all those knives down yeah. the side of her, like by uh, uh, in her garden. Yeah, like they're, they're did already I, out there. Did like... I tell you the story about the kid that my friend knew who got some dog shit out of the garden, cut it up with some knives, and then put the knives back in the drawer? Where was he? Was he at like, <laughs> his house? At his house. At his house. Why did he do that in his own house? <laughs> why would you do that in your own house? Why would you do that at all? I don't know. But why would you do that in your own fucking house? You know, house? I, found, I, 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 I remembered a really funny story the other day that I've never said on a podcast, but I've forgotten what it is now. Oh, you... Why did you even say that? You got me all excited. I'm I know. hard. I know. And now I'm just going soft again. Oh, uh, uh, maybe I should have told that guy. What was his name? Ricardo or... <laughs> <laughs> I don't Vincent know. Vincent or something. Fucking 
<laughs> I don't get like what's the point <clears throat> in like like restricting all these weapons, man? Because like at the end of the day, here we go. You yeah, but the thing is that like everyone's like okay, okay, well. If you want to hurt someone, you're going to hurt them. Yeah, like, everyone's like, oh, no, no, no everyone's getting stabbed. <coughs> it's like, you take away knives, well, people are just going to find the next thing. Acid. Acid. That acid, acid, attack. acid attacks. Or, you're never uh, going to stop people fucking yeah. each other up in, in like, major cities. I mean, cities in the yeah, UK. just get a lead pipe. No. I mean, you can't restrict those. You can't You can't make a lead pipe lighter. What are we going to do? Get rid of rope? Yeah. It, next thing you know, everything's going to be made of PVC, but then someone's going to fucking just attach nails to the PVC you have yeah, to get yeah. rid of nails. You have to get yeah, blunt nails. <laughs> blunt <laughs> nails is the next thing, isn't it? You, you can't you have to hammer in yeah. the fucking backwards because there's stop, a, like a can't... ball on the end of it. It's like a screw. Yeah. It's just it's stupid. It's it's just a way for the company to save face, essentially. It's yeah, nice exactly. Way. It's just a way for them to go. Well, we sell we we tried our best. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we say. So uh, the, there's the knife, isn't there? I'm just I'm just looking at all the the things that you can kill people with in Cluedo. <laughs> right, yeah, right. Good old, the candlestick so <laughs> good old strangle the pistol yeah the knife both right. of those are now been heavily restricted but the next four have mm-hmm. not been restricted and i expect them to if you're gonna do mm. it to guns and knives yeah. you're gonna do it to candlesticks lip pipes rope and the spanner yeah Oh mate, imagine being killed spanners. by a spanner. I'd rather get stabbed. I would rather get stabbed. Than getting your spanners. head beaten in with a fucking spanner. Just get, get give these kids knives <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> give these damn kids oh, knives. Oh god. Take the spanners. Oh, Do we yeah. have that as the title? Give kids knives. <laughs> I don't no. think we can. No. 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 Oh, Greg. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's, it, it would be a pretty horrible brutal, death, wouldn't brutal. it? Yeah, yeah, fuck that, to be honest. And a same lead pipe. Mm. And the Le- lead, a lead yeah. pipe's the same. Mm. I wouldn't want to get beaten in with a fucking lead pipe. I'm thinking like that lead pipe that they've got in Home Alone. Like, you know, he picks up that little fucking... Dink. Yeah, I'm thinking, oh, no. No, it would be horrible. No, thank you. Because to properly die from it, it's a headshot, isn't it? So, oh. no. Yeah. No, it's not just a headshot. It'd take more than one. You have to have to keep backing yeah. in there. Oh. But I wouldn't want to be... I mean, actually, yeah. I you think I'd rather be man. beaten over the head once and knocked out and then bashed in than, like, be stabbed repeatedly or and bleed yeah, out. Yeah, but getting knocked out is nothing like it is in films. You get hit in the head, you get knocked out, you wake up, like, three seconds later and yeah, you're getting I've your bed bashed out in. before. It's not like it is... Yeah, but not if by then he's already stabbed... Like, not if he stabbed you six out, times like, in the fucking films. head. Have you, have, you, have you ever watched MMA where they're fighting, yeah, and then one gets knocked out and they're literally up like 10 seconds later? Yeah, that's just the way it is. The thing is, I never really got like why people like boxing and MMA and all that. But I did watch this one thing recently that got me into it, and I think that's where it needs to start going. It was MMA, but it was in like a sort of like a play gym. So you, you have to like, you can like run up stuff and then jump on them, elbow them on the head. It was 10 it's, times more fun. It's like parkour, so parkour dangerous. MMA, but it's like 4v4. Yeah. And they were chasing each other around this thing and like How's, fucking how elbowing each other and stuff. How they not like died, like <laughs> twisting their necks Yeah, but that's off so of, much like... more fun. Like who wants to watch Oh sometime? yeah, but I mean like. like for example, if you had a choice between MMA still existing or then bringing back gladiator tournaments. Of course we're bringing back, get the lions out. Elephants. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how OP they really are. You know what I mean? I'll tell you what. There are so many. It'd be good thing in America. There are so many kids that like go off the chain. Like, do you remember that Elliot kid who was like, "Nobody likes me. I don't get any affection from women." And then he went around and shot up a load. That's of like you if on we... Instagram, isn't it? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> You're next, aren't you? He's done me dirty. Is that e- yeah. Elliot Roger? Oh, yeah, yeah, Elliot yeah, Roger. Yeah. But do you know what I mean? Like, if we did... I mean, gladiators back in the day, naughty, naughty, because they were basically like slaves made to do it. Yeah. But I mean, if we had a thing now, it'd be like, hey, um, you're probably not going to die. It's just like a, it's like a yeah. MMA sort of thing. But there's a good chance you might fall off something and break your neck and die. And there's a good chance you might bash your head off of like mm. the slide or something, and, you know, while you're doing a fucking elbow drop. You want to do it? They'd probably put down the gun and be like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, the kids are loving, I'll tell you why. The kids are going to dig at them. Because, yeah, it's going to get rid of, um, no, like, it's going to be brutality brutal. on the streets. And what do kids want more than anything these days? They want that fame, they want that Insta fame, you know mm. what I mean? And that's the thing, they, you risk death 
but you can also get famous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's all they want: murderers and stuff. They want notori- They want notoriety. Yeah, yeah, so they want to be known. Like, some horrific. Exactly. They want. They become to known as this like they crazy want someone MMA to killer. Love them. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if like because they all agree like. Yeah. They agree if they die, it like doesn't matter because they got nothing to live for. Yeah, and then, so that yeah, it's yeah. good idea. Trump, if you're watching, forget the space program for a little bit. Forget the space warriors or whatever the fuck you called yourself or your camo outfits. Um, focus on the the like indoor legal uh, suicide parkour wrestler gyms. <laughs> <clears throat> I reckon there's an open market. Has anyone else got any other news stories? All right, here we go. Go on, Greg. Convicted sex offender. Oh, fuck. I identify as an 80-year-old. <laughs> I knew that this was... Are you... I can just fucking... Uh, oh. oh, Child porn is my constitutional right. Because he said he identifies as an 8-year-old. So, yeah, I think... I it... thought you said 8 year oh, here we go. This about... Yeah, well, Greg's going to yeah. be talking about trans race and trans age. It is so, a real thing that... So, buckle in. Yeah, people... People... Stop yeah, it's in, become everyone. a new thing. I think everyone saw it coming. Um, <laughs> really? Now people think that if they identify with as a different age, they are that age, but... It just doesn't work Do you know like what? That, I it? think this is kind of a good thing, right? Maybe mental age. I think this is kind of a good thing. Not what happened, but it puts into perspective... You think this is a good thing? Wait. <laughs> no, but it, it's the only mm. time... No, hear me out. What happened was is obviously whatever he did was horrible, but the fact that he came out and said, it's because I identify as an eight-year-old, you have to take me seriously, it's good because for once, it's the only time I can think that we can all agree that that is stupid. Do you know what I mean? Like, we all know it's stupid when you say, oh, I want to... There's nothing wrong with wanting to be a different gender or, or you know, or mm. there's nothing wrong with that. But when you want to identify as a species that you're not and a different age that you're not, no, 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 you're oh, not. I forgot about those. If you want to prance people. around in your bedroom and pretend that you're a wolf, do it. I don't care. There's... But you can't go around the street pre- do you know what expecting they, people they to are. think that... What? They have a name. What are they called? I can't remember. There's another thing called Otherkin. Otherkin. Mm. That's and, it. And, and they don't just identify as animals. They don't just think they're wolves. Some of them think that they're, they're elves. <laughs> and and that, 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 I've they, seen I've seen that people that think they're vampires. No, they, and they, they live they in like vampire believe houses stuff like with people. I'm I I am an elf spirit that came from another reality and. Uh, was born into a human body. That's the sort of shit they believe. I remember watching some Louis Farou. I'm sure it was Louis Farou, and he <sighs> went and went to this like house in America. I think it was in like New Orleans or something like that, or like Louisiana or some somewhere like that. And um, and it was like a house like, and it was like, quite a big house, and there were like loads of different people living in there, and they all were like this vampire club. They all called each other vampire names. They all thought they were vampires. And, they, and like, I'm sure it was Louis Farou. And he's like interviewing them, like two of them going to the bathroom, like this man and this woman, They're like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, we're just having our daily dose of blood. And he like, he like, like puts two like needles in her back or something. And he's like sucking blood yeah, out of her. Yeah, seen that. And I was yeah. just like, yeah. what the fuck? Where are like, these people? That sounds cool. Other kin, <sighs> man. The other kin. Oh, I, love I just think it's funny that it's always really cool things and never like a fucking slug. Like a sea <laughs> yeah, slug. Exactly. yeah, it's always something like majestic or something. Yeah. It's like yeah. I'm a wolf. I'm an yeah. eagle. No one wants to be a fucking uh, like. Who's that guy in the corner? Oh, that's Jeff. He's a snail. <laughs> <laughs> just sat there like he's, he's just like he's laid against the wall. It's like <laughs> they're like they're like. You go, yeah. Look, watch. They're like poke him in the eye, and he goes, <laughs> like, nice. tucks back in. Like he's like oh, in wait, his jumper. Wait, I've run out of slime. We're gonna just get some butter. <laughs> 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 he just goes around the floor, right like, slime. What did you say his name was? <laughs> Jeff. Jeff. Just, just don't mind Jeff. Butter just go around man. the kitchen, like while you're in the shower, he's just crawling up the shower curtain, like. <laughs> oh, I think we've. If I, I, I've said before, if you wanted, <coughs> wanted to be an animal, which animal would you want to be? But if you're an oh. other kin, how about that? No, but you see, that's a shit question. It, it, I'd rather just say, what would I like to be? Because other kins aren't actually werewolves and vampires. No, no, but they if you be. were, what would you want to be? Uh, anything. You can be anything you want. A vampire would be Vampire, rad. animals, rad. supernatural things, anything. A witcher. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, but it would only be good to be a witcher if there were real monsters. Yeah, you hunt other kins. <laughs> <laughs> And like, and um, 
<laughs> That's monster great. Monster passion time. <laughs> you had other kids. Monster passion time. There's like a notice board oh, on like some great. forum and it's like, my neighbour <laughs> thinks he's a cat and it's like, da <laughs> my medallion. <laughs> <laughs> it's my breathing. Yeah, he, he, he kicks oh. the door in and there's a fucking woman like oh, in the corner dressed like Halle Berry as Catwoman. Like, and, because, <laughs> and because like weapons are so like restricted, you have to get like a... You have to have a knife yeah, with a block square, on the a square silver knife. knife. <laughs> <laughs> you have to slash it's like a it. master of the Witcher oh, medallion. That was oh, quick. That was yeah, good. Yeah, that was good. Witcher yeah. hunting in Otherkin. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should do a skit like that. Who wants to see a Witcher Otherkin <laughs> hunter skit? Greg can oh, play like Greg can be Geralt because he because he thinks he's Geralt. Greg can be, Greg can be Geralt. Should we and you play like a couple that are like that think yeah, we're, they're for interest, yeah. think we're dogs or something? Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah. You guys choose. You guys, you chose Tristan, yeah. Uh, I've played it multiple times. I've, I, yeah, I've tried both. I chose. Yeah, I tried to do, but with both of them the first time. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I heard about it. And that. then the second I'm time, I, that if I and didn't then know I about like it. did, and then I tried just doing it with Yennefer because it affects the end, doesn't it? Basically, mm. so um, yeah. I don't know if I finished That's it all the times I did it. Your Witcher. <clears throat> yeah. Fuck <laughs> now, Greg is the uh, the uh the other what are they called? Other kin. The other kin w- oh, witcher. Yeah. It would be a great thing to do to hunt them down. And not so he was trained at Care Moron yeah. and <laughs> and his. No, the, just you know, a the website. People <laughs> going, oh, I'm not a vampire anymore. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, really? It's just pretend. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> my, <laughs> my, my square blade. My square ended blade disagrees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just sniff him. <laughs> See so you're a vampire, but oh, I smell a slug. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, what's sniff he covered him. in, Geralt? I sniff him. <laughs> Geralt, what's all this slime? It appears to be butter. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe it's not butter. It's utterly, <laughs> utterly this. butterly. <laughs> this doesn't taste like butter. Oh no, this is low in cholesterol. I believe this is this is clover. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone got any other news stories? I'll do one more. Yeah, go on. Um, breaking news just, this just is quickly, breaking though, news uh, what, just in. have you guys been up to anything of note this week uh, I had a fucking absolute nightmare this week uh, oh yes yeah. I remember this um, Go on, fucking hell uh, I was out walking my dog and I don't know what the weather's been like sort of the, up and down the UK but this week's been kind of rainy and miserable but there was a particular day this week I think it was I don't know like Tuesday and there was like a storm it's like a horrendous storm yeah, all day bad, and yeah. all night, and it was so windy and rainy and fucking, fucking horrible, man. Miserable. The only thing it what there there wasn't was like thunder and lightning, but it, the rain was all day long and all night. And I I went and walked the dog, and I didn't take him for a very long walk. I was just like I was like I let him run around for a bit, sniff a bit, fucking you know go to the toilet and all that, and I'll walk a circuit and then go back. So I put this coat on that I had in the back of my car. I had this like shitty old coat. I was like, yeah, I'll chuck this coat on. So I walk the dog, get back to the car, can't find my keys. There's a hole in this po- in the pocket of this coat. So I'm like, ah, oh, you fucking, you cunt. So I stood there. And this other woman, dog walking, she's like, are you all right? Is everything okay? I'm like, no, nah, I've lost my keys out there. She offered to help me. She's got a little friend with her. I think she was a dog walker or something. And so we're all three of us. I'm walking exactly where I went. Went up and down, up and down in the wind, in the rain. And I had the dog with me. I couldn't get into the car. I um, had my phone on me, but I couldn't ring anyone. I didn't have any service, so I had to call off this woman's phone, trying to get a hold of people to fucking help me. I called RAC. They're just like, because the woman was like, yeah, cool, uh, are you with Breakdown Cover? I was like, yeah. I was like, will they sort it? And they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I called them up. And I was like, I've lost my key. And they were like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I was yeah. like, well, I said, can you get me in the car? And they were like, well, we can get you in the car but you can't do anything with a car if you haven't got the kit. And I was like, right, so what the fuck do I do? They were like, you got to call a locksmith. I was like, I've got to call a locksmith. I'm stood in a storm in a field with this dog just shaking. <laughs> I'm completely soaked by this point. I'm like, I f- like, I'm genuinely like shivering. And my- I was like, I've jumped in a bath fully clothed. I stood there borrowing this woman's phone. I, br- I think I broke my phone because water got into it. I got that fucking wet. I was out there for about two hours. Eventually my old man had to come and pick me up. But, Three days I was locked out of my car. A new key. I will advise you people now, if you're a driver and you've never really had this issue, but I told Matt to tell you, always go and get a spare key made. You can take your key, go down to fucking Timpsons or something, get a spare key made. It'll be like 10, 12, 12 quid or something. 
Cheaper than that. that. Yeah, even cheaper than that. Might be about seven There's quid. One outside Asda. My car key, mm. I had to call a locksmith out down there the other night. I only I was out my car for three days and I had all my stuff in the car. And I had to keep going back to check on it in case fucking kids had beat it in or fucking... Because <laughs> that, that, that really, definitely is that, happens. Is that an issue in Southampton? Dude, I yeah. saw I saw a video this morning on Reddit of like... Maybe these... they weren't, weren't Nick stuff, but it was like near a park. And if there are kids down there, they'll be like, this car's been here for like two days. They'll just kick it around for fun. I don't think they do that. <laughs> we did it. I've never... Okay, I've... <laughs> we, there I'm was that one say, car. I'm not, I'm gonna, I think, yeah, you know, we, I'm not going to yeah, say where the car okay. was parked, but it wasn't... It was, it's it, not rough. Yeah. But can I just point out that the, the, we, the we, car we, that we it was left there for years. It was rusty. You can't drive a rusty car. It felt no, it had like a police sign on it. Yeah, we just kicked it in. We just we, we only kicked it a few like well. I think we, we, were we, like we kicked eight. it for sev- several oh, I'll months. Tell you what, I've got an interesting story actually. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking oh what? <laughs> we grew it for several months. Yeah, we did. You just reminded me. Ages, uh, my mate Snips told me the other day because he he doesn't live near me anymore. But when we were kids, that's how we know each other. The, uh, he did the intro music. Go and check out Snips. He does all the transition music and intro music and stuff for us. Blah blah blah. blah. Legend. Go check out Snips. Um, yeah, there was always because I live in a like a little cul-de-sac, and there was this big like lorry that used to like go on to near my back garden, and it was there for years, and it was covered in vines. It was there for like. 15 years and I remember when we were kids and I thought it was something I'd sort of just made up in my head because we were really young but he reminded me of it the other day I was like fuck was that true we somehow got hold of the keys for this van for this lorry and we're all like we're all like really young it must have been about like I don't know seven, eight, nine or something we just stood around this lorry like I can't remember who got us the keys We've got the keys for it, and we're all just stood next to this lorry, like, oh. And I, I don't know, I don't remember much else, but he said he remembered getting in it and starting it up and stuff, and fucking mad shit. But, but it's gone now. I, they cleared it away years ago, but fucking, yeah, it was there for years. I don't get keys for yeah, it. I don't know where. Or these, a locksmith. Maybe they, were just, <laughs> maybe they were just in the lorry, and then, like, I don't know, some oh, kid yeah, just jumped maybe. in, and were like, oh, someone's Oh, no, a, lo- a lot of lorries have those things, like, in the wheel arch. Yeah, I don't know. But someone managed to get hold of it and was like, oh, look what I've got. And they were like, keys to this. And we were like, fuck, that's not keys to it. And we were like, yeah, yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah, no, it was so old. It wouldn't, nah. It was there for yonks. Was it? Yeah, from, it was there from when I moved in and it was already covered in vines and shit. And it was there for about another 15 years. Completely abandoned. Completely abandoned. Completely abandoned. Yeah. Have you got any stories like that when you were younger? Right in the comments below. Yeah, any weird. I think we're going to wrap this stories. up now, guys, because yeah. we nearly reached an hour and the camera's about to go. Mm. So, do you want to play the outro song on your guitar, Greg? I always like it when you do that. Oh, really? Is that really authentic? Because then I have to sync it with the outro. No, you don't. Just, Greg... play, just play no, this one over. No, but, then, but then Greg's always out of tune. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, Greg. I'm Greg will do it right, won't you, Greg? Okay. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. We really do appreciate it. We really, really do. Go and follow us all on social media. It's all in the links down below, all of that stuff. And up here. Follow our Instagrams and our Twitters if you're interested in that. I wouldn't. I'd just follow us on Instagram or follow us on whatever you use, really. Do that. Just promise to listen to every episode Mm. or watch. And if you are watching this on YouTube, give it a like. If you're listening to this on Apple Music or if you're listening to it on Spotify or any other podcast providers as we are on the majority of them, uh, can you list a few of those? Castbox, Player FM, uh, Podbean, uh, just all The list goes on. So if you are listening to us, we really do appreciate it. Um, as we don't just want to be a YouTube channel, we are podcasters. We are podcasters now. It's even worse. I know, it is, isn't it? Everyone's <laughs> a podcaster now. Everyone and their mums is a podcaster. Everyone Literally. and their mums. The pod- I'm sure there is like, multiple podcasts that people do with their mums. Probably. Yeah, probably. Well, there's hundreds. More than definitely. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up because Greg's doing the outro song all by himself. Go on, Greg. Keep it going. See you all later.